our teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, we are going to revise photosynthetic questions in the paper 2. Number 1, A. How is the chloroplast suited for its function? Then we look at adaptation of chloroplast to its function. Contains chlorophyll to trap light energy. Two, cellular membranes increase surface area for attachment of enzymes. Three, thin membrane for easy diffusion of gases and light penetration. Four, has necessary enzymes for photosynthesis. Five, contains DNA for fast multiplication. Six, contains ribosome for synthesis of photosynthetic enzymes. B, describe the modification of parenchyma tissue in different parts of the plant to shoot its function. One, in the pitch and cortex of the stem and roots, parenchyma cells contain starch granules for storage. Two, in the abacia stem and roots, parenchyma cells take in water by osmosis, become rigid, and tightly packed to provide support. Three, in floating plants, parenchyma cells are irregularly packed with big air spaces to provide buoyancy. And lint cells, parenchyma cells are irregularly packed with big air spaces to facilitate gaseous movement in the plants. Five, in the leaves, parenchyma cells contain chlorophyll to trap sunlight. And six, in the flowers and the fruits, parenchyma cells contain the card pigments to attract pollinators and dispersal agents. Seven, companion cells are modified parenchyma cells with big matrix to assist sieve cells in the phloem to transport organic materials from leaves to other parts of the plant. See, parenchyma cells located in the roots, stems and the leaves, taking water by osmosis, become rigid and tightly packed to provide support. Parenchyma and parenchyma are located around vascular bundles to provide the support and keep the xylem open under continuous transport of materials within the plant. Corinchyma in the leaves provide the support to maintain the leaf in a horizontal position. Number two, A, giving examples in each case Explain what is made by each of the following. One, saprophytes. Saprophytes are organisms that feed on dead or decaying organic matter. Example is the fang. Two, chemoautotrophs. Chemoautotrophs are organisms that synthesize organic matter from simple inorganic materials, deriving energy from oxidation of inorganic compounds such as ammonia. An example is Nitrobacter and Nitrosomonas. B. Compare saprophytes and parasites. Compare means that we give similarities and 
differences. Similarities, both are heterotrophic. Both produce large number of offsprings. Both have digestive enzymes. Four, both reproduce sexually and asexually. B, differences between saprophytes and parasites. Saprophytes have got simple life cycle. Parasites have got complex life cycles involving different number of host and dormant stages. Saprophytes feed on dead matter. Parasites feed on living organisms. Saprophytes have got variety of food source. Parasites usually feed on specific hosts. Saprophytes have got simple method of nutrition. Parasites have got complex method of nutrition. Saprophytes are mostly bacteria and fungi. Parasites are mostly plants and animals. Saprophytes some are aerobic, some are anaerobic. Parasites, they are mostly aerobic organisms. See, explain the importance of saprophytism in the human life. They decompose dead bodies and plants cleaning the environment. If saprophytes were not there, the people who died long ago would be piling up to heaven. To decompose sewage and emptying of sewage tanks. The color of fermentation leading to formation of beers and cheese. They produce antibiotics. They cause the milk and the food to go sour. So they spoil our food. We need to develop technology to keep our food not spoiled or to produce more food. They are useful in laser turning. Mutualistic saprophytes produce vitamins in the gut, which are used by the host organisms. 3A compare photosynthesis and aerobic respiration. When they ask us to compare, we have to give similarities and differences. So, similarities both produce ATP. Both utilize specialized cellular organelles, i.e. chloroplast in photosynthesis and mitochondria in respiration. Both involve gaseous exchange. The chloroplast releases oxygen, taking carbon dioxide. Respiration, taking oxygen, releases carbon dioxide. Both are enzyme controlled reactions and both are affected by temperature. We can give as many for the examiner to choose. Differences aerobic respiration occurs in mitochondria, photosynthesis occurs in chloroplast. Aerobic respiration is a catabolic process, breaks down organic matter. Photosynthesis is an anabolic process. It synthesizes organic matter. In the aerobic respiration, oxygen is used up. In the photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is used up. In the aerobic respiration, carbon dioxide is liberated. In the photosynthesis, oxygen is liberated. Aerobic respiration leads to decrease in the dry mass. Photosynthesis leads to increase in the dry mass because it synthesizes organic matter. Aerobic respiration does not require light. Photosynthesis requires light. Aerobic respiration occurs in both plants and animals. Photosynthesis occurs only in plants and some photosynthetic bacteria. B. Explain the effect of low oxygen tension on one syphilis plant. 
low oxygen tension in the seafood plants stimulates photosynthesis because oxygen does not compete with carbon dioxide for lipolose by phosphate. Two, on C4 plant, low oxygen tension in C4 plant has no effect because paper carboxylase does not accept oxygen. So whether there's a lot of oxygen or little oxygen, there will be no effect. See, explain why C4 plants are more efficient in photosynthesizing than C3 plants. One, photosynthesis does not occur at high oxygen tension because paper carboxylase does not accept oxygen. Two, paper carboxylase has a high affinity for carbon dioxide enabling plants to photosynthesize at low carbon dioxide tension. Then three, Photosynthesis is fast in C4 plants because enzymes are adapted to high temperatures. Usually at high temperatures, the rate of reaction is fast. What is the chemo heterotrophic bacteria? These are bacteria that feed on organic compounds as source of energy. They include to give three groups of bacteria in A1 above, saprophytic bacteria, parasitic bacteria, and symbiotic bacteria. B. Using examples, explain ecological importance of each group in A2 in an ecosystem. So we look at the importance of saprophytic bacteria, they decompose and recycle nutrients in the ecosystem. An example is petrifying bacteria. Parasitic bacteria, eggy, cocci, and bacillus cause disease and death of organisms, thereby regulating the population and reducing competition among organisms. They may also lead to emergence of resistant new species. Symbiotic bacteria leads to survival of organisms in ecosystem by one. La zombia fix nitrogen in the soil that is used by the plants and other organisms to symbiotic bacteria on the skin, reduce skin infections. Three, symbiotic bacteria in the guts of cellulose eating organisms digest cellulose into absorbable compounds in animals. Otherwise, without cellulose digesting bacteria in the guts, animals will not be able to survive on the plant materials. Number five, then A, what are the functions of leaves to the plants? Leaves cut out photosynthesis, leaves cut out gaseous exchange, leaves cut out transpiration to cool the plant and to lose excess water. Leaves are modified for support some leaves are modified for food and water storage. Some leaves are modified for, for support. Some leaves are modified to attract pollinators. Some leaves are modified to trap insects for nitrogen. Some leaves are modified for protection. Some leaves are modified for vegetative reproduction. B. How are leaves modified to perform their function is? For photosynthesis, they contain chlorophyll. 
they have light surface area to trap light. For gaseous exchange, they have stomata. For transpiration, they contain stomata. For support, they may have tendrils. For food storage, they are thick. To attract pollinators, they are colored, for example, Bogenevire. For vegetative reproduction, they have buds, for example, Buryophyra. For protection, they have thorns and itching hairs. They may also produce poisonous substances. Thank you so much for watching this video. Find other resources on this website, this digitalteachers.co.ug. I'm also requesting you to subscribe to this video to promote my videos. Note that subscription to, for these videos is free of charge. Just click the subscription button below and fill in your email and it will be done. You can share the video with your friend or the website with your friends.